we don't change anything in the next 10 years, we're fucked. And so something really has to be done quickly. And that's why if we want to get there, we need a really regenerative resource. <sighs> Let's be honest with ourselves, eh? The amount of wildlife around the world and species that are going extinct, the amount of plastic that's turning up in our oceans, the amount of waste that's landing up in our landfills, there's all little pieces of the puzzle that are, that are just screaming out at us to tell us that we're not doing things correctly. And if we keep, if we keep going down this path, in 10, 20 years time, we're gonna be living in a garbage dump. My name is Antoine Tane, and I've been in the building industry for 10 years now. The building industry accounts for about 30% of our annual carbon emissions and is a really big driver of the petrochemical industry. In New Zealand, we, we're trying to reach carbon zero by 2030. But if we want to reach a carbon zero industry, we need a really regenerative resource to get us there. The hemp industry in New Zealand is pretty fresh. We have been able to grow hemp in New Zealand for close to 20 odd years now. Hemp not only grows faster than pine, it absorbs four times more CO2. It's going to be a huge turning point for New Zealand to be able to adopt a really regenerative hemp industry. Hempcrete is a plant-based building material. The hemp herd is the aggregate and the reinforcing in the, in the hempcrete. It's like wood chips basically and it's really high cellulose which means that when you mix it with hydraulic lime and water it makes a really lightweight composite material which is then casted around your structural timber frame. The most important part is to compact against the uh, shutter because that's where usually all the cavities end up. Nice. That hempcrete system makes a monolithic wall system, which is basically your insulation, your exterior lining and interior lining all in one. Once you plaster both sides with a natural lime render, it creates a really natural, solid, breathable wall system that is really durable and could last you more than 100 years. Because it's not in the New Zealand building code, it's a bit of an educational game when it comes to teaching the council um, and teaching architects and engineers about using this new material. We're doing a lot of tests with ARA, they're helping us out, understanding the different binders and, and the different uh, research behind the material itself. And that's the way we're going to introduce the building material into the building industry. I'm Dr Kerry Mulligan. I'm a lecturer in the Department of Engineering and Architectural Studies here at ARA. Today we are carrying on with some of the testing that we started yesterday to develop a binder for the hempcrete. So we're looking at getting local materials to build with. So this is the hempcrete, so we mix up the hemp with the binder in the concrete mixer. And then we, we put it into um, a form tamp it down to make these little cylinders, let them sit for 28 days and then we will put them in machine. So it's going to be pushing down and we'll measure how much deformation we're getting and from that we can chart what the strengths of each of the samples are. Hempcrete is a fibre and a binder. It's similar also to things like straw bale, which is straw and then plastered with clay. So it works really well for insulation, especially if you have lots of it, because it's got lots of little air, air bubbles trapped in it. It's a natural material, so we're not getting any off-gassing of, of dangerous things. Like when you walk into a natural house, it doesn't have that new house smell. It, it feels really good, because there's no chemicals in there, the VOCs. The benefits of, of these sorts of materials, they're normally local, so we're getting less transport costs. They tend to be lower tech, not in the way that they're not good enough, but they are more accessible to more people. Um, and they also repair well. So if you, if you have damage to something, um, you can repair the building rather than having to tear it down. It's funny because a, a lot of people still believe that hemp is cannabis. And I always get the joke, ah, oh, so if you're building houses out of hemp, can you be scraping your walls and smoking them? 
And I mean, it gets pretty old pretty quickly because people still make that, that joke around not understanding the difference between hemp and cannabis. You know, hemp is, the, is one of the only plants in the world that you can feed yourself, clothe yourself, house yourself, and use as medicine. So it is, it is a super plant. Hemp has the ability to be able to project us into the future, into a sustainable future really quickly. There's some small steps that people can take to reduce their carbon footprint and live more regenerative lifestyles. Living in tiny homes is definitely a good start. Um, living in tiny homes reduce your costs. It's a lot more energy efficient. This tiny house is linked up to solar panels and catches all the water off the roof, recycling it and using that for the shower and in the kitchen. Also permaculture, establishing your own vegetable gardens is a really good one. Because of this one plant that has tens of thousands of different uses, if we can find and develop the technology to be able to use this plant to its maximum potential, we can fully achieve a sustainable future that we all dream of.